Hi, this is Greg from Business Automated and today I'll show you how to send any form data to Airtable using the new webhook feature. Let's get going. You all know that you can use uh, Airtable built-in forms if you would like people to submit some type of forms. So uh, they're fairly simple, they work well, the only thing is that you don't have much influence over the design. But I recently discovered that it's actually possible to send any type of HTML forms into Airtable using the new webhook feature that is just being added into Airtable at the moment. So let's go here to adding a trigger and I will show you how, how simple it is. Obviously this is a feature that is still in development. It says, uh, it says alpha here, so things might change as you're watching the video, but the general principle uh, should remain the same and I think that's the direction they're gonna go. So we have just created a webhook that will start our scenario. So what is happening here? is that right now you have a webhook to which you can have data and this data you can be later using in the next step. So I'll just show you how super easy it is. So um, I went to any basic HTML tutorial and I open the sort of the first uh, example of HTML form. And how HTML forms are built is that you basically have the submit button and the action that is being done on the form is submission of this form to some type of URL. So what we're going to do here, we're going to replace this URL over here with our webhook and we're going to do one more thing. So we're going to change a method here. So we're going to add method equal post. The reason for that is that H um, that Airtable webhooks at the moment, if you read the documentation at the moment they only react to posts so this is what we have here so we are basically the moment the submit button is pressed we will send the data into this webhook so um, i'm pressing a run here just to refresh the content here on the right side so this is rebuilding the form here and i'll just change the name here greg and let's press submit so nothing happens, but we got this success through. And now when I go to Airtable, it actually has triggered a test here. So you can see that step successful. So we have received a test and now we can see that input. And inside of the input, we have first name Greg and then the last name. So basically the data from our HTML form has arrived here. So let's add quickly a text field into here. So I'll just copy this part. So I have quickly added an additional, additional field over here. Let's call it description. And I'm pressing around just to refresh the right hand side. And here we can type something else. Greg test two. And now let's submit it again to Airtable. And you can see that again, this new test shows up over here. And now we also have the description. So now let's use this to basically get the data into the fields that we have. So the next step will be that we will, for every submission, every time the webhook is triggered, we will create a record. And in the create record, we are selecting the table and then choose fields we are selecting first name inside of first name we are selecting from the body first name and then we are selecting last name inside of select last name similarly description here we'll use notes and add description to the notes okay so that is everything and this is super simple so uh, we can generate the preview or we can just turn it on you see preview looks okay and let's just turn on this automation and let's test it out so here i'm just refreshing the form and you can see that the data has showed up over here so this way i'm just using a super basic html form over here but pretty much any html form that you have on your websites the moment when you add to them action with the URL of the Airtable webhook and then the method post, then any form can be redirected into this webhook automation and then you can use the information in the body here 
for the next steps in your create record action. So yeah, I hope this was super useful for you. I think this is a, a super cool feature. It is still in development. So let's see where Airtable takes this. But yeah, that's super exciting. All right, guys, uh, if you like this video, please like and subscribe and thank you. Mm -hmm.